If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shots. Living out of the College Football 25 cheese, as always. In today's video, we have another important update. This is like the fourth update for College Football 25 in about two weeks. Uh, but there's some very important gameplay fixes, some things that I've been talking about in some of my videos. I uh, got fixed things that you guys have been talking about in my comment section have, been, have gotten fixed. And they also talk about a future update that they have planned because there's a lot of things they're trying to fix. So I'm going to go over all that information today. Uh, before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, you guys want me to keep you up to date when it comes to all the updates for College Football 25 and Mad 25 when that comes out, please make sure to be a subscriber, like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go and get right into the video. Now, this is like the fourth title update that they've had, but this is the first one where they actually put out patch notes, uh, which is something that they haven't put out for any of the other title updates, uh, which is really interesting because I kind of was questioning why they weren't putting out the information about what they were fixing. Uh, the, the information I've got that I got for this video came directly from CFB uh, Direct's Twitter account. If you guys aren't following that, uh, I, I, I suggest you follow that because there's a lot of really important information when it comes to game fixes. Uh, the last update, all they really did was try to fix uh, the issue where people were having trouble getting back into uh, their, their dynasty that they created, whether it was online or offline. A lot of people were having issues with that. That was the main issue they tried to fix in the last update, although they talked about a lot of other updates they were trying to fix. Uh, one of which is something that I talked about in one of my previous gameplay videos, a defensive gameplay video that I put out. I said how I couldn't, it just felt like I couldn't save my audible plays. And it was weird because sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't work. Well, it turns out that it was an issue that if you were the away team, uh, you couldn't save your offensive audibles. Uh, so that's something that they said that they fixed. They fixed in this particular patch, probably the biggest fix in this patch, was that they fixed the away team not being able to change offensive audibles and online head-to-head. -head. I haven't been able to hop on and try it out yet, uh, but if you guys get an opportunity, if you guys try that out and it's still not working, let me know in the comment section. But I hope that some of they fixes. That was one of the bigger issues when it came to gameplay for me personally because of how I like to run my offense. I definitely don't want... Um, you know, to have to run a one-play offense or a one-play scheme. And it's also not really fair when the, the opposing team, which is the home team, can save their audibles. So they have a huge advantage, and you're, as the away team, you just don't have the ability to do that. So I hope it's true. I hope they fix that, because that was definitely one of my biggest personal issues. Another issue that I had a lot of people uh, complaining about in my comment section, like I said, I didn't necessarily have this issue, but I know about these things because I have people making comments, is uh, a lot of people are getting a lot of roughing the kicker penalties from AI players on field goal attempts and extra points, things like that. Well, they reduced the frequency of roughing the kicker from AI players on field goals. That's the next patch note they have here, uh, which is kind of that's kind of an interesting thought. I really don't know um, how they reduce that. I mean, they just make the the players running after the kicker less aggressive. Do they make it so that if they actually make contact with the kicker, it doesn't really matter? It'll be interesting to see how they actually fix that. But that was another issue which I actually did notice a couple of comments from, in my comment section of people saying they're having problems with, uh, which they definitely, um, you know, definitely something that they needed to fix. So apparently uh, that's something that they reduced. Like I said, they'll still see it happen because it doesn't say fix, it just says reduce. So it'll still happen from time to time, but hopefully it'll be less frequent for people that are having trouble with that issue. And another one is something I did actually experience in an offline game when I was playing Dynasty Mode, and I've seen a couple of videos of it happening as well. It says fixed a rare issue, so I, I, it doesn't feel that rare because like I said, I've seen it quite a bit, but it says fixed a rare issue of the snap going behind the quarterback. Now this, like I said, I did see. I played in an offline game. It was only the second game in a Dynasty that I was trying to play. Uh, where And I actually needed it because I was on defense. But the ball just got snapped like 30 yards behind the line of scrimmage. Like, and it just seemed to, it didn't seem like it actually, it just kind of appeared. It didn't seem like it was like a bad snap. Like you see in the NFL sometimes where the quarterback just missed it. It just kind of like rocketed out of, out of nowhere and was like 30 yards behind the line of scrimmage. And I'm glad it didn't happen to me. It was like I said, I was on defense or else I'd have been very upset. But like I said, I've seen this happen quite a bit. I've seen it from other content creators posting content uh, where they've had this issue happen. Um, so, you know, this is something they say it's rare. Uh, and that's one of the reasons I believe they're, they're not really putting out more patch notes. Because I don't think they want people to be more, they don't want the community to be more aware 
of these larger issues that are happening. I think they want to kind of keep that on the hush hush until they fix it. But this is something that I did see was happening quite a bit. So when they say rare, I don't think it was that rare because I ran to it a couple times. I've seen it online a lot. Um, I've seen other content creators talking about this issue. So these are definitely three of the more, uh, and that's one of the things I like about this patch. This is definitely three of the more, um, common things that I've been hearing as far as issues. And then the last issue that they said they fixed was stability and server improvements. Um, there's still issues out there with people not being able to uh, access their dynasty mode, which is a little less frequent. Let me know in the comment section if you guys are still having that issue. Because CFB Direct actually made a post on Twitter about a week or so ago when they did the last patch uh, looking for people, if you're still having issues getting your dynasty mode, that you can go on their Twitter and you can let them know on that post and they'll look into that personally. So if you are still having issues with that as far as uh, you know, re-entering a dynasty mode, um, you know, which, which you, you're having issues with, you can uh, contact them directly on their CFB Direct Twitter. So make sure you do that. I'll try to have a link in the description for that. Uh, and then last but not least, they talk about a future um, title update that's coming, a larger update that will be coming in the near future, which we will receive a campus huddle detailing all of the updates coming to each portion of the game. So that's going to be a massive update. I don't know when that'll be. Uh, typically, when it comes to like Madden updates, that was typically like something that happened on Thursday. I couldn't help but notice that college updates have been coming out on like Tuesdays. So I would imagine since they're talking about that, we can probably expect another larger update for all the game modes on Tuesday. Some of the things that they talked about in previous CFB Direct communications and, and tweets was that they were talking about how they were trying to monitor, uh, specifically for Dynasty mode, uh, some issues when it came to um, you know lower rated schools knocking off uh, higher rated schools uh, more often than they should. Uh, that's something that they said they're monitoring. So I would imagine that'll still be part of this upcoming patch. They also talked about how um, you know just the rankings weren't right, where teams with too many losses were being ranked too high uh, in the top 25 and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm sure that's something that they're probably going to address when it comes to the upcoming, um, you know, the upcoming patch, because these are all things that they communicated uh, that they were looking into or they were monitoring. Uh, I have a full video breakdown of all of that information too, by the way, if you guys want to see uh, the, the updates that are expected to be coming. I'll have a link for that at the end of the video. Uh, but before I do, I just want to say, if what do you guys think should be in the next patch update? What do you think are the bigger issues that you guys are having that you hope that they patch? Uh, me personally, I haven't had a ton of issues with this, but I know it's a problem. I really think that they got to they gotta nerf uh, some of the more overpowered running backs. We all know what we're talking about. Um, you know, certain teams like Ohio State and uh, Oklahoma State are banned on certain platforms, whether it's Gamer Saloon, you're not allowed to use these teams, uh, online tournaments uh, with pro players, they're all being told you can't use these teams because these players and their abilities are too broken. Guys like Ollie Gordon, Quinshawn Judkins, and stuff like that. Uh, that's something that's definitely ruining the game for a lot of people that I hope that they nerf in this upcoming patch. Um, because, I, I mean, like I said, I can't say personally I've run into that too much, but obviously it's out there. Pro players are complaining about it, and they can't stop it. Um, it's out there. There's certain plays that need to be nerfed, but they haven't really touched gameplay at all yet, and I don't know if they will. Uh, certain players like, um, you know, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the Wildcat, uh, the, I think it's the halfback powers are really broken play. There's a couple of like like the double pass where you throw it back to the halfback and then he throws it and there's just like nobody covering anybody deep. There's a lot of plays that really need to be addressed that are becoming more well known. But like I said, I haven't really run into that too much because there's so much variety. There's 134 teams and 134 playbooks. So I don't necessarily run into people um, just spamming the meta all the time, which I think is one of the charms of college football 25 is there's so much variety you don't run and everybody running the same thing over and over and over and over and over so it's uh you know it's not really ruining the game for me personally but like i said for a lot of people it's really an issue so these are things that i hope they address but like i said i'm a little concerned because they haven't addressed gameplay at all and i think they'll be hesitant to do that because when they do that everything changes when you when you when you mess with one thing in coding a lot of times other things get thrown out of whack part of me hopes that they just leave it as it is but like i said let me know in the comment section what you guys think if you want to see that video that i was talking about uh with the future updates that are planned i'll have that popping up on screen now and until next time thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below